Hello everybody, Comedy Genius Swankles here. Today we're going to talk about Wookiees. I hope you're starving for information because about of, of like Wookiees because I've got that information that's revolving around very useful things like Wookiees. I don't know why I'm wearing this hood right now. I can't see anything. Uncle Swankles. Okay. First of all, okay, leave a like about something. Leave a like and also comment on something. Past that, Wookiees are native to Kashishk. We're gonna start with all the information that you already knew. Ha ha, fun, fun. Here's a little fun fact about Wookiees that you probably didn't know. The average lifespan of a Wookiee is 400 years. That is right, 400. It's over four times as long as you're going to live, because you're going to die. You're goddamn right. Actually, Wookiees are in their prime when they're 200 years old. You were in your prime probably 20 year, years or something ago. Boom! Drop in facts. Another fun fact is Chewbacca was 200 years old approximately when you see him with Han Solo. Now, you know that... I can't even do it. You know that noise that they make? That's not nonsense. That's a language. That language is called Shrewook. Now, here's a cool thing about Wookiees. Their throat glands or whatever makes noise, their, their voice boxes or whatever, they can only speak Shrewook. You ain't speaking no English as a Wookiee. However, they can learn and learn to understand the English language. They can never speak it. That is how, uh, how, how Chewbacca understands Han Solo. And Han Solo actually learns Shriwook too. He just can't speak it because of his voice glands. We're gonna keep talking about Han Solo here. The reason that, that, that Chewbacca hangs out with Han Solo so much is because Chewbacca actually owns Hans, owes Han Solo a life debt. Life debts are pr a pretty big deal in the Star Wars galaxy within certain cultures. Everyone's favorite culture, the Gun Guns, the Gun Guns, they also have the life debt thing. So if don't don't have a Wookiee save your life, or or you're gonna have a Wookiee following you around forever. So they have a, a, a love-hate relationship, except without the love part with the Trandoshians or the Trandoshians, one of those two. They're the lizard people. When I'm talking about the Trandoshians, the Trandoshians, those people are like, you know, the, bon the bounty hunter Bosk? He was a Trandoshian. Yes, factual. So Bosk's people actually preyed upon and enslaved and hunted Wookiees. And that's a pretty big deal because Wookiees are strong things. They are one of the more powerful species inside the Star Wars universe. There are few creatures strong enough to pull the arms off of droids. And that's actually a Wookiee's favorite way to fight is with his own two fists, which have claws. He has also got some pretty, some pretty intense teeth. Tradations are one of the only Star Wars, actually the only one that I learned about in the research for this video. The only species that can stand up against the the Wookiees. So Bosks were just were all over. They were just they were they were being dicks to the Wookiees. Now Wookiees liked to make their cust their their own custom bow shooters. Chewbacca had a modified one. That one shot lasers. The majority of these bowcasters shot a bolt of metal, mind you. It start pull up a chair, it started as metal, but then when it fired, it turned into liquid plasma. So these were very vicious and sought after tools that the Wookiees custom built themselves because they are a very smart sentient race. A lot of people think, I don't think many people think about Wookiees, but a lot of people who think about Wookiees think that they are a very primitive species. That's just not true. They are actually very technologically advanced. You remember that spaceship that Yoda, uh, that Yoda, Yoda floated around in episode three of the Star Wars? Well, they created that themselves. Another fun fact, factually for you, is Emperor Palpatine hates the Wookiees. 
Uh, actually, the Wookiees fought alongside Jedi in, in Order 66. So Palpatine was just, just, just turned on the Wookiees that we've come to love so much. He turned on them because they helped the Jedi and therefore they were bad. So that's when they actually the Trandoshians took over and that's when the slave thing happened. So they were enslaved by the Empire to do a bunch of things. One noteworthy part of it was there were actually enslaved Wookiees that built the Death Star. I think that's pretty cool. Unfortunate for the Wookiees, but pretty cool. Their coats, which I'm wearing a dead Wookiee right now, these were worth good money. So they were actually hunted by the Trandoshians. Now, if this has only happened to an extended lore, so you plebs who only watch the movies won't know this, but Wookiees rarely, but they can be force sensitive. They can be either Jedi or Sith. A Chewbacca, a, a, a Wookiee named Lobaka was actually a Jedi. So this species has been around for approximately two million years, which makes it one of the oldest species in the Star Wars universe. And the fun fact, right at you, Wookiees do not like to lose in games. Don't fight against a Wookiee in a game or something, because if, you, if, if the Wookiee loses, they like to pull arms off. And if you go watch episode four or, or whatever that clip I watched was from, they, they pull arms off, so go rewatch whatever episode I'm talking about here. They've got very vicious teeth and they're very strong, and they actually live like 300 years, no, 400 years. They, they weigh 300 pounds is what I meant to say. <laughs> so the, the hierarchy of, the I don't know if hierarchy is the right word, but there is leadership within their society and they actually have a king. There is a royal family within the Wookiee society. And actually, at some point, there was Wookiee Senators floating around the Star Wars universe because they needed representation for the Galactic Alliance. I believe this is after episode seven when they, no, six, when they were all freed from the Empire's, the Empire's captivity. Now, I hope you guys found all this very informative because I sure as heck was bored trying to learn and, and learn all this crap watching videos. This old man. So